Today I'm going to change out my uh, rear wheel spacer on my E46 M3. Um, the reason being is um, I'm using a 15 millimeter spacer in the rear and uh, it does rub and I told you guys that uh, it doesn't rub on the, on the rear. But uh, anyhow, I just found this out um, a couple days ago when uh, we drove to uh, in San Diego area. I keep hearing a squeak sound when I go to the road that was like an uneven pavement or was a little uh, bump and a little dip thinking maybe all of them was uh, scrubbing but uh, no actually only the rear so when I get off the car and try to look at it there you go that is the scrape of the tire guy okay. I thought it's not scrape but it does scrape you can see these these are those uh, Meguiar tire cleaning now I can feel under the fender it's scraping that's when I go into like a bump I can hear both sides here I think yeah. it's kind of annoying every time uh, you hear that <laughs> so and plus I do not want to ruin this tire I just got this uh, tire uh, for like uh, I don't know a couple months ago these are Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tire it ran me around like 400 something dollars each so yeah anyway I just want to let you guys know that and uh, I do uh, want to apologize on my uh, previous video <laughs> when you guys uh, comment below asking me um, the, the 15 millimeter um, rub on the rear and uh, I did uh, you know respond back to you too soon that uh, it doesn't rub so I'm gonna change it back to the 10 millimeter spacer, which is I have it here. Both of them. Uh, I just ordered this, so both of these will replace it. The 15. I will let you guys know. I'm pretty sure this time it will not rub. It's a five millimeter different, but it's the five millimeter different, guys. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna rub anymore guaranteed this time all right guys let me change this out and i'll let you know thanks peace Alright guys, this is how it looks after I install the 10 millimeter spacer. You can see it's it doesn't look that bad, huh? It doesn't look that bad at all. So yep. Go check it out on this other side. Yeah, that's how it look, guys, with 10 millimeter baser. See from the top. Yep. You can still see the tire coming out too so here's a picture of uh, 15 millimeter versus the 10 millimeter all 
All right. For the front, still look the same. So I haven't done anything to the front. Still 20 millimeter in the front. Look at that height. That is awesome, my guy. That's that's less than a. a one finger in there. Let's find out. Yep. I can't even stick my uh, one finger in there. That's like low. Wow. All right, guy. Let me go test drive. I'm just gonna go to the freeway. I'm gonna go to the same route. spacer it worked out perfectly good I'm gonna back up my car inside the garage we'll be good so yep the car is nice runs great guys just let you guys know so yep I don't see any uh, residue or anything like that right here nope see that nice and clean nice and clean Nothing. Nothing. No residue. No uh, rubber sticky or in there like that. That's cool, guys. Let's look on the other side. Let's check this side now. Nice and dry. Nothing. Nothing at all. No residue. Rubber residue, guys. Cool, cool. I'm happy. 10 millimeter, perfect. It's in there somewhere. <laughs> Sticky rubber right there. You see that? These are the rubber that was rubbed. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean it out. 
think the other side will even work. Just that, uh, yeah, you can see that right there. Whole bunch. Ooh. Yeah. So you need to clean tomorrow. Six day already. Oh.